I'm living my best life. Yeah, yeah. I'm living my best life. Made a couple and you know. I said I'm living my best life. I said I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's with my best friends. Turned all my L's in the last hands. You see the whip pulling up, it's like screw. Dreams pulling up, I'm like screw. I'm living my best life. It's my birthday, at least that's what I'm dressed like. I'm like Big Pop mixed with Tupac. I'm like Machiavelli, Nita, Little Caesar Pizza. I be hot and rap. You like Tom and Jerry. When ballin', you just talking, that's that commentary. I was in the field, man, I slayed for this. Had to talk to God, drop down and pray for this. To my surprise, he replied, say you made for this. I seen the car, wanted, then I went and paid for it. Cash, cash, hit the take care, hit the race, hit the dash, dash. That's what... Hey you guys, it's Chelsea Couture and I'm back with another video. As you could probably tell from the heading of this video, you already know what it's about. I just wanted to fill you guys in on what's been going on the past couple months because I have been in New Orleans working. Um, I have decided to go into travel nursing um, as of this past April. Um, my first stop, of course, was New Orleans. It's always been a place where I wanted to live, but I just... I don't know like I love it down there um, the only thing that has ever deterred me from actually like living down there long term would be um, hurricane season I mean it's kind of like a given that's the only thing that's ever deterred me I mean I am from Louisiana but um, hurricane season is not as bad in the northern part of Louisiana where I live but um, it is pretty it can get pretty bad down south and it has been in the past uh, even before Hurricane Katrina so um, that, that's always been a big issue for me. So I never really wanted to just jump up and move down there. But I must say, I enjoyed my time down there thoroughly working. And I mean, it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> so I bought a whole lot of like souvenirs and stuff. My mom actually bought me this, this shirt. Uh, happy nice morning. What is the back say about this? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so wrinkled. <laughs> but yeah, New Orleans was really fun. Um, I got to do a lot. Um, got to spend time with uh, family and friends. Uh, do things that I really wasn't able to do being on a such a strict, uh, you know, rotation at work at my full time job that I had. Um, but I'm gonna get into all that a little later. First and foremost, I uh, graduated from Northwestern State University in 2016 with my bachelor's of science in nursing. Um, so I have almost about two years of experience um, in the nursing field. Uh, when I started, um, when I started travel nursing, I only had like a year and a half experience. So I'm getting close to my two year mark. And yeah, they try to deter you from going into travel nursing um, before a two year mark because they would prefer you to have two years of experience. But I wouldn't necessarily let that hold me back from following, you know, you know, my dream, if that's what your dream is to be a travel nurse. I wouldn't let that deter you because if you feel like you can adapt to change well and kind of just go with the flow when things are thrown at you, then I think that you do very well. I just wanted to be able to, as I said in the intro, have my cake and eat it too. I wanted to be able to work a full-time job, um, you know, make the money that I can make, um, as well as have fun, spend time with my family, be able to go to events and do things with my friends when I want to and have more of a flexible schedule and lifestyle. Um, so that was my number one reason for choosing travel nursing. Um, I know most people are like, oh, you're doing travel nursing, you're making a lot of money. No, I make money moves. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money moves. If I see, but I mean... The money is good. I, I mean, I will admit that you do get paid well, and you know, part of your money is not taxable. But at the same time, money is not everything. Like, I was on a full time rotation where it just felt like basically, we basically fell on working every holiday. Like, every single holiday, every major holiday except 
Easter, I believe. And that gets old. Like, who wants to work a holiday every year? You know, every holiday. I mean, I could understand working one holiday, but every holiday? No, like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm like, I'm never going to be able to spend time with my family. Um, and that's just not me. I'm a big holiday person. I want to be at work and having to FaceTime them. And they're like, oh, we wish you were here. Yeah, that's not really what I want to hear at work. <laughs> <laughs> like that just makes the situation even worse, you know? Um, so I mean with travel and RC I can do that. I can make it so that um when I'm done with an assignment, the time that I'm off, you know, I can spend with my family and friends. And you know, some people that they, you know, do travel nursing, that's their one thing. That's their only thing, cut and dry that's it well with me I decided to keep a home base I decided um to go part-time where I was working full-time at so I'll be able to work when I'm not on an assignment so you know travel nursing I love it but it's not something that I'm just want to pick up and run away and do 100% you know like it it makes my schedule a little easier because when I don't have anything going on with you know the family or you know any events to really attend yeah i can go on assignment i can go wherever i want to for 13 weeks um go make a little extra money save and then come back home and work you know part-time and be able to kind of make my own schedule and go with the flow like that's one thing that i'm really enjoying right now like <laughs> now that i'm not on an assignment um it's just it feels good to be able to just um make my own schedule so, now that I've been kind of explained to you guys what's been going on, let's get into some uh, fun facts, kind of like pros and cons of travel nursing. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of them real quick. <laughs> the number one thing is finding the agency that best suits you. I did a lot of research. I um, worked with several travel nurses um, on the floor um, that I was on in my full-time job and got a lot of information. That's when I really just was like, I'm doing this. Like, they didn't have two years of experience and I was like, well, what's holding me back? I might as well just go for it. So I did and um, I mean, there are several uh, travel agencies, I get Healthcare, American Mobile, um, I think one of maybe Medical Solutions or something like that, but there were several. Cause I mean, you get text messages and emails from several different companies, you know, that you're not even affiliated with, but you know, they're always reaching out and trying to give you more opportunities. Um, you know, some people say it's good to work with multiple agencies at one time so that you can get a good variety, a good variety of uh, jobs that are available because some are only, you know, with certain hospitals and then some work with other hospitals. So you never know, you might be looking to be in one specific spot and one agency can't put you there, but another one could. I, however, um, chose to work with the same agency, which is Aya Healthcare. Um, and I love it. I love them. I love my recruiter. I have not had a problem, you know, dealing with them at all. Um, they even um, reached out to me and interviewed me while I was in New Orleans. And that was amazing. Like, it was great, you know, like first time traveler and then bam <laughs> and it was so crazy because even at work down there people were like oh we saw you on the eye health newsletter and i was like oh okay yay. oh okay <laughs> so that was fun that was interesting um so yeah i mean you just gotta go with what you feel is most comfortable for you so that's what i did <laughs> Number two would be um, housing. Housing is very important. You need to really sit down and think whether you want to be able to find your own housing, get your housing stipend, or do you want to let the agency find housing for you? So that was a major deal for me because I found it difficult to find, uh, find housing at first in New Orleans. I mean, it was expensive. Um, I wanted to be in a good area. Of course, I wanted like a gated in community, um, something near the hospital. So it was a lot of things, but I finally got really lucky by going um, on the Furnished Finders uh, website um, and you put the agency you work for and they your location and it gives you a list of like you know options for you to choose from and I got really lucky I got into a gated apartment uh, furnished it was nice really big um right around the corner from the hospital and across the street from the mall so everything just really worked out I was like oh my gosh so everything was going so smoothly I was like this is a good sign like maybe you know this is perfect like everything's working out um 
So I was excited. Like, I was so excited. Um, the third thing is moving. Like, you know, I didn't want to pick up everything because I do have my own place here back at home. And I didn't want to just pick up everything and move. Like, uh, so I only took certain things. I took clothes, shoes, of course, my scrubs, and just the basics, my laptop, uh, you know, everything else, like books and stuff like that. Um, I did not just pick up my whole apartment and move, like, because I was kind of back and forth during my assignment anyway. Um, since it's only like four and a half hours away, it wasn't too far, so I can drive home to come visit whenever I wanted to. Um, but yeah, moving was a big deal. Then you have to worry about getting your scrubs and getting prepared for the first day. And it's just, it can be a little overwhelming because you have like so much stuff to do. You know, you have your tests and stuff you have to take, physical, drug tests. Um, all that good stuff that you got to get completed like real quick before you go um, So it's just it's just a lot it can get a little stressful and overwhelming and you'll be feeling like really anxious about your first day But my first day was actually pretty smooth. I did orientation you get with like, two days of orientation Then you have like these little buddy shifts. Um, I think you get two of those and then you're on your own so basically at this hospital, particular hospital, it was a teaching hospital, really big, very busy. Um, so they put us on a float pool and um, I actually enjoyed that. I got to see a lot. I got to learn a little bit more because back at home, yes, I am med search, but I primarily focus on orthopedics, neuro, and just um, really just those post-op patients. Um, so going down there, I was floating to like telemetry floors, uh, GI floors, observation floors, um, like smaller little cardiac units like you know things that i i mean i have experience with but it's not something that i've primarily focused on in the past almost two years so um it was new it was new i learned a lot um i actually enjoyed telly because cardiac i just was never really interested in it but after this i mean i, I don't know i grew to like it you know it was it was pretty cool so um but yeah, it wasn't like the people there are just so friendly, so nice. It was just a totally different environment from what I'm used to. Like everybody's just, hey, I don't think anybody called me Chelsea <laughs> at all. Everybody's like, hey, Chelsea, like, hi, hi, I'm, I'm so glad to be here. Like, it was so fun. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just really enjoyed this assignment in New Orleans. Like, it was awesome. I really want to go to Texas. I've had my Texas license for a while now. And, I mean, that was the whole point of me actually going into travel nursing because I wanted to go to Texas. But uh, it was just, I don't know. I don't know what made me choose New Orleans first. But I do want to go to Texas next. And the it's pretty populated right now in the areas that I would like to go, like Dallas, Houston. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting it out. Like, uh... I mean, it's fine. I have I have part-time jobs, so I can do what I want. I can work and then worry about that later. So, um, you know, I feel like I have enough stability to just wait and be that picky. Now, if I didn't have a part-time job, yeah, of course I wouldn't be that picky. Duh. Like, of course not. <laughs> I would be like, yeah, let's go here. Let's go there. Da, 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 da. But being that I have the stability that I have and I have a home base, you know it's a bit easier for me to like chill out and be more picky about where I want to go because I'm just you know I just want to go somewhere where I can enjoy have fun see family or friends that I haven't seen in forever spend time with more people that I can't normally see especially when I was full-time so you never ever leave from beside me because I want you and I need you and I'm down for you always KB do you love me are you constantly something going on in the south all the time like I mean, you got Jazz Fizz, Essence Fizz. Heck, if I was there in the spring a little bit earlier before April, I would have been there for Mardi Gras. Like, it's just always something going on. So, it's never a dull moment at all. Like, <sighs> Bourbon Street. <laughs> the, the bars, the clubs. Like, it's just always something to get into. The food. Oh, my God. The food is just exceptional. That is the one thing that we go down there for. Oysters, the good seafood, the crawfish. Like, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Like, 
we, me and my family go to New Orleans all the time. Like, it's just always a good time. It's a constant party. It's just a party city. And like, even at the hospital where I was working, they were playing, you know, music. <laughs> like, at work. Like, it was constantly a party. Like, I just felt like it was just a fun experience. And I'm so thankful that I chose that place as my first assignment. Because I just don't think, I, I don't think it could have been any better. <laughs> I am not a DJ. This is not a replay. So let me plug in. It is a preset. Music too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. always down to answer any questions that anybody has for me regarding travel nurse and I don't know everything I just started and I didn't really want to come on here and do like a whole breakdown of what travel nursing is how to get started I'm just not into giving presentation like YouTube videos like I don't want to make you feel like you're watching a presentation in class like I don't want to be preaching to you so if you have questions just comment below X away I mean anything like about the pay packages housing questions anything like i i just didn't want to be preaching to you guys on here <laughs> so yeah but um like i said i enjoy myself i would go back i would do it over and over again um i can't wait to get back into traveling in a few months I, after all these you know things i got going on are over and um I, hopefully I'll be going to Colorado in the spring or summer uh, next year um have family there and I've always wanted to visit so that's that's like on my bucket list that's on my list so I'm ready to check that one off too got New Orleans out of the way so I mean Colorado was good <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in with me for this. I'm sorry it took so long because I've been back for about a month now. Almost a month. So I'm sorry it took so long to get it out to you guys. But I just thank y'all for tuning in. And like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, message me, comment below, anything. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for even taking time out to listen to one minute of my video totally fine thank you <laughs> i appreciate it all so i'll see you guys a little later bye